Have you guys noticed recently that I've been farming the shit out of Eminence and Shadow videos? And that's right, we've been doing these reactions live on stream, but then, you know me, I'm a fucking innovator, I'm a pioneer, I am the laziest professional leech on YouTube. And I thought, what if I react to Neil Desai reacting to hype scenes of anime that we already watched? He recently watched Onisama versus Crimson Prince. So for this kind of content, I'm going to react to him reacting to your favorite episodes. Let's get started. He's oh, shit. Huge. This fucking gun flip, dude. This is the most unnecessary fucking sequence of events. There's no point of flipping the guns here, but look at the flips he does too. Look. Oh my, oh my yeah. god. Oh my god. There was no god. point. The there was no need to do that. Team, let's hop right into it. Remember, Patreon does get early. Patreon, go to Neil's side. Patreon early access. Go, go, go. Cut reactions, link down in the description. And while we're at it, let's aim for 1500 likes on today's video. And I'll do the next episode of the show as soon as tomorrow. Take a time out. Hmm? Wait, is I've inscribed magic circle on those? Oh! Leo and Mikihiko. They're getting these magic circles to avoid Cardinal George's invisible bullets, I Ooh. think, right? You could do that? A lot of this just goes over my head, though. Enhancing the potency of whip. Oh! To protect your asses. Fuck Cardinal George, dude! And this gets bypassed that? Yes. Oh my god! I told you, bro! Does he hate if Cardinal George? Does Neil hate Cardinal George as much as I do? Because fuck that kid. I hope he shits on him too. That guy is like 200 IQ. I, I fucking yes. Tatsu is playing on 2000 IQ, bro. Yes. Everyone else is playing checkers. We're playing chess. Tatsuya's playing chess. The committee has already inspected our devices. Bro thought out everything. Oh, yes. But he kind of obsessed. I make the joke about how George and Onisama, sorry, George and Tatsuya, sorry, George and Crimson Prince are gay lovers. But he is obsessed. In this tournament arc, Crimson Prince was truly fucking obsessed with Onisama. He's just looking at him. He's like, oh, he's so fucking goaded. Oh my god. He's obsessed with him. Okay. And no rupture either. You know what the way is? We already fucking know it's the fucking. Mm, it's that, right? Oh, what? Does Neil watch the openings? Does Neil watch the openings? Oh, super fucking. Oh. Nah, he just second skips the opening. He's getting so excited over this dude. Uh, damn, I would say out of all the episodes yes. this show so far, yes. this is the episode that has got me the most hyped. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, the tournament arcs are fucking hype enough. But, like, this has been a buildup of insane proportions. People hyping up who this person is. Ichijo. Fucking the Crimson Prince. The eldest son of the, of the whatever, cl the Ichijo clan, right? He has, like, military experience. This guy is insane. Who can possibly fight him? And then it turns out it's not fucking Morisaki. Because remember, the terrorist fucked Morisaki up. Thank you, terrorist. W, Terrace, the Headless Dragons or something, and therefore Onisama has an excuse to go in. This tournament arc was built up so fucking well of Onisama being brought in as a support engineer, clutching through everything. Everybody is so hyped that Onisama is like you know, making all these crazy enhancements to the CDs. They're like rewarding Onisama with the points. They're literally saying, holy shit, I don't care if Shizuku or Miyuki or Saigusa, they're all winning these tournaments. No, you know what they're topping off about? Who the fuck is a support engineer? Right, like there's been a few episodes where I've been kind of hyped to see something, yes. right? But this episode has like really yes. exceeded like my limits, I guess. And the crazy shit is I didn't think that this episode could get topped. I thought this was going to be the peak of Mahoka, bro. The fucking next arc, the thesis competition, holy Ooh. shit. Yeah, I like this outfit yeah, he's got. Yeah, jumpsuit. Oh, that's kind of insane. Oh. Really? Wait, oh, this really? Towel scene. You know what Miyuki's gonna do with that towel? She's gonna wipe Oni's thumb and sweat with it, and she's gonna sniff that. <laughs> and then she's not gonna fucking throw in the washroom. No, she's gonna wash that shit by herself. Oh, she cooled it off? Come on, make the incest jokes, Neil. Come on. I'm starting to realize I'm fucking unhinged. 
I am literally so degenerate. I'm the only person that would make a joke like that. What's wrong with me, dude? Be careful, Onisama! Oh. Aww. Yes. Now you have to win. <laughs> Damn. Neil's like straight up just like enjoying the pure wholesomeness of this sibling camaraderie. And I'm just here thinking, oh, Miyuki's gonna fucking wipe Onisama's ass so I would then fucking sniff it. What's wrong with me, dude? Yeah, now he has to win. His sister's counting on it. No I one's like, expecting well, he, him to lose, though. We should have, if, if there's ever like any type of crazy fight happening with Tatsu mm. or something, we just gotta have Miyuki ne nearby and just let tell her. Say date bio, I believe in you, and it'll be a win. GG. Pretty much. Huh? Oh, wait, this is Leo's like a new Mikiko and Leo's new trench coat, right? They think it's so cringe. Look at this shit. Oh, she's laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look hey, at it though. Hey, hey, don't judge it by how it looks, man. It looks great. <laughs> Tadawao is the only one not wearing it. <laughs> to be fair, he's gonna have to fight in the front line, so it's not gonna matter for him. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Erika. Oh, she is. Oh? Musica took the glasses off. Oh. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie. This spirit magic shit, like, I swear to God, sometimes... I just, the spirit magic just seems to be able to do anything. I like don't really understand the mechanics of it. Maybe the anime didn't explain enough, but whenever Mikiko does something, I'm like, okay. But like, did you need the spirit to do that? Can't you just do that with regular? I don't know. It just seems like incredibly like flexible and versatile magic. Oh, leave it to her, I guess, huh? To notice that. Fuck you, George. Oh. He, read the, he read the suit. I like the fact that they're not like they're they're mm. putting the possibility out that they he he could have countered it. Yeah. They're not just purely looking down on him. They're just confident in themselves. Yeah, and that's the thing. Neil's right. Onisa like most people look down on Onisama, which is fucking crazy because you've seen what he can do. But right now, Crimson Prince and Cardinal George, they were hyping him up to no limits. Like, even in the previous meeting rooms, too, Crimson Prince is talking about how the OP ability of the support engineer, how he has access to all these different kind of texts, referring to all these different, like, military references, too. Like, they have never looked down on Onisama, which is actually pretty good camaraderie and rivalry. They hyped him up. George, yeah. George, as much as I shit on George and his fucking haircut, George, you know what? He did hype up Onisama a lot. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. <laughs> oh, even he's watching. Mm -hmm, the patriarch, that's oh, right. Oh, well, to be fair, he did notice Tatsuya. I mean, yeah. what, what was it? They said fi only five people picked up on his little... He's right. Neil's right. Only five people realized in the orientation of what kind of magic the Patriarch used. Thing, uh, at the stage a few episodes ago. Yeah, and yeah. Tatsuya was one of them, right? And he even noticed and smiled yes. back at Tatsuya. So he's probably yeah. interested. He pays attention. He pays attention. And after the scene too, what happens? They get a direct comparison. I think uh, the military captain Kazuma or something and the patriarch is talk talking in the room. And it's like, oh, Onisama is so fucking cool, right? It's like, yeah, I think I rate him higher than Crimson Prince. Interested. See? There it is. That's crazy though. The number one guy actually, you know, coming out just to see you. In terms of just like this world though, is the patriarch really like the strongest being in this universe or does he just have the most political influence because he seems to be a being that is beyond the ten clans beyond the yotsuba right he seems like he is truly the king of everything i don't really know enough about him here we go okay he's going on the initial sequence of the fighting here, they just walk. They are straight up just walking. Onisama and Crimson Prince just walk smiling. It's so oh. cool. By the way, ooh, countering each other. Come on, no! Yes! I like how we, uh, his uh, pistol is like the same uh -huh. color as his hair. Yeah, it's like color coded. Like Co Crimson Prince, his entire suit and his hair, it's all color coded. It's a crimson red. But Tasha is just shooting down every single one of them. Yeah! They're just walking. They're just walking. He's shooting it down while also attacking. I mean, this guy's also yeah. doing the same. Something wait, 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 wait. I think what gets overlooked here, only someone's using two guns, right? Double CAD here, right? Yeah, look, look, look. Also attacking. I mean, this guy's also doing the same. 
dual wielding. Dual wielding CD is super important. This shit was super hyped up in the earlier episodes. Like, no, not anyone can just do it. Like, Morisaki, that motherfucker was like, what? What are you doing with those two CDs? You can't do anything. I think this is the episode where we apprehended Kirihara when he was, like, attacking Mibu. Crazy redemption arc that Kirihara, of all people, actually was in love with Mibu there. But holy shit. Like, this dual wielding kind of got overlooked. And Shizuku can also dual wield. Something about the fact that they're doing all this without even actually turning their head. It's just like they're doing it while also just slowly walking forward. Look at him. They're just smiling, walking. <laughs> People are fucking losing it. They're like, oh my god! They're just walking! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is he really a course two student? I mean, I guess, I think that's Ichihara saying it right there. I guess they still have, like, isn't it enough that Onisama was able to apprehend all the terrorists in the first arc by himself? Isn't it enough that Onisama was a ridiculous support engineer that was able to manage everyone's CDs to have them pop up? Isn't it enough that Onisama then got put in by Jumonji himself? Jumonji was straight up like, Tatsuya, go in. And Onisama was like, yes, sir. Fucking sweeps the entire tournament. Gets to the finals with no problems. Even now he's saying, is he really a course two student? Technically he is. Whoa, see, I'm telling you, bro. People finally get to see. Yes. Witness him. Wait, because the closer he gets, the more he has to go. Oh, I didn't think of that. Okay. Closing the gap because that's what only someone's trying to do, right? He's his entire goal was to close the distance between them. Maybe his entire point was to do that. Maybe his entire point was literally there was a way, right? Only someone didn't mention that. His entire goal from the beginning was to do the finger flick. I thought that was just like an impromptu move he did on the spot to just look really cool. Okay. Fuck you, George. You're not doing shit. I mean, leave it to Silver, right? What are you gonna do, George? Leo, get him! Wait, he's also running? Yeah. Oh my god! Here we go, we're gonna get the, we're gonna get the he's flip! He's still shooting them out, though! Oh! Dot, dot, dot. Come yeah. on! Now that was sick! Oh? The flips here is the flips. He's gonna toss the gun up now! He has some fucking impact on it. Yeah, if this landed, wouldn't. Like straight up, if this landed, would only someone die? Would his leg get cut off? Like that those kind of attacks are kind of strong. But imagine if Crimson Prince was using a rupture. How do we counter that? Because you fucking explode. The temperature of your blood gets so hot that you just explode inside out, right? Like, how do you counter that? Oh I still don't really understand this ability Onisama has. Because sometimes he just like scans the entire area, right? He scans the vision. We saw this in the terrorist arc of like how many people are in the room. Then he goes in and takes everyone out. Here, you'll, you're about to see the line come out of his head. You're about to see the line come out of his head and he uses this to predict the future movement. Look at this shit. Scans and then... Wait, what? The line's coming out of his head. What is this shit? Wait, is he like seeing the trajectory of... Yes, Neil. Yes, Neil. Oh my god, he's looking at uh -huh. the trajectory of where it's gonna pop off. Uh-huh. Shoots them down before it even gets created. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. All right, a little bit of glazing from the military scene. It's insane, right? With just the five senses, but we have a sixth one. In this situation, what? Uh, valid cause would be uh, made. Sixth sense. That he used sixth rather sense than... rather than. Uh, so, straight up here, I, I, like, ways you're selling that it's elemental sight. But a valid case could be made. Fujibai is straight up telling us, no, it's not even elemental sight. He, she's just doing this intuitively. But we saw the lines come out of Crimson Prince's head. I don't really know what magic it is, but it's still really cool regardless. And you know what I really didn't appreciate when I was watching this before I finished season one is the role of Captain Kazuma and Fujibayashi, especially now that I've seen the OVA as well, more military people. And of course, and of course the thesis competition goes in order to more, more of the military personnel. Like... I didn't realize like how much like importance this is, like how important these characters are in the grand scheme of things. Because when this show immediately starts, they introduce you to the fact that Onisama is like a secret agent for the, for the military. But then beyond that, you don't really know who these people are. They kind of show up here and there, but it's like, okay, what is it in the grand scheme of things? They're actually really influential people that are taking like 
a main, like, they're like an important group that gets brought into the story and they're very important. Okay? But what? Oh, but there's old men watching, right? Patriarch's watching. Oh. Oh. <laughs> old man's getting so horny at the thought of Unisama popping off. Dude, look at him. He loves, he's his biggest fan, dude. Miyuki or the Patriarch? Who's who's the biggest fan? Yeah, you're not going to get get away with that one. George! Fuck you, George! Wait, Leo's in the front this time. Fuck him up! Oh, this is shield. Yeah. Yeah, it turns into what? a shield. Yep. And behind the shield. Yep. You put the guard down and his new weapon, which is like an extended blade. Yep, it's busted, Man, right? That is sick. That's right, George. Counter you. That's a whole shield. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I got to give it to him. He kind of countered that one pretty fast. Neil's giving Crim Cardinal George way too much credit. I'm just memeing. I just shit on. I don't even know why I hate on George. In fact, I don't think there's anyone that hates George as much as I do. What's wrong with me? His magic. Mikiko. His magic. Oh my god. End Come him. On. Come on. No, we root him, then lightning from above, right? Oh. Wait, no, Crimson Prince clutched. And he's like, oh. I got you. I got you, bro. Wait. Did he help him out? But while he was distracted, Onisama closes the distance here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh nah. shit. Uh... Mikiko, nah, no! Damn. Close the distance! Oh yeah, he's running! He's running. Oh my Mistake! God. Mistake by Crimson Prince! Oh shit, he panicked. This way what? Who's this man? This is the coolest moment, bro. Like, of all the tournament arcs, this ending sequence right here, where Crimson Prince loses his cool, and we know what's about to happen. This sequence of events that's about to happen is some of the coolest shit I've ever seen in a tournament arc, and it fucking delivers so fucking hard. Neil is about to pop off. Nah, he'll be fine. Look at Tatsuya. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm happy it's the middle screen. Crazy, come on, let's go, let's go. The episode there, bro. <laughs> that means the fact that he's even ball. saying it, that means Tatsuya might actually have to pop. Oh, wait, Here what? we go. Still canceling it. Doing 360 flips for no reason. He's still sh Pop, 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 pop. Yep. Oh my, oh my god. One more time, one more time. Was that gun flip necessary? Would he have... You know, you know what? I would argue if he didn't do the gun flip, he would have had time to clear them all out. Look at this Ooh. shit. Watch this. He's boom, boom, boom. Sure. This gun flip. Why did you need to do this gun flip? It doesn't matter. It's just a fucking flex on him. Oh boom, my, flip. Oh my god. Oh it looks so my sick. God. But he misses like two, Gosh, I think. Almost went off though. Yeah, it's getting closer. Oh. Oh. Oh, nah, he should be okay, right? One of my fucking favorite moments in anime. Whenever something incredibly hype happens, and then it just pans to everyone else's reaction. Onisama gets hit by Ichijo's like panic attack mode, right? He should be fucking disqualified here for that calibrating this attack. Look at this panning of the characters. Like, boom, boom, boom. Oh, Erika. Saigusa. Nah, he should be Hodoka. okay, right? So good. Miyuki well, believes. All, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Miyuki believes. That was fucking amazing. The way was. he was doing the flips. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, he doesn't know what's about to happen. But the flips, they were fucking insane. Shit. Switching the guns mid air and stuff. Bro, that yep. was fire. Yep. Oh. And I would kind of give Crimson Prince a little bit of points here because look at him close his eyes and be in regret. What did I just do? I could have killed him, right? And in fact, he probably thinks I actually did kill him. And because he closed his eyes, Onisama was able to get a quick one on him. He was kind of like in his shock state. So could you really say that Crimson Prince couldn't have, you know, countered, you know, Onisama's like regrowth into the flash flick there? I don't really know, but clearly he was like stunned here. His own fault. Damn, he genuinely actually just... <laughs> Nah, but it's Tatsuya, right? Oh, uh, yeah. What's up? You know this, right? Neil, do you know this? Of the Neil, do you remember? You when Miyuki the killed... thing from episode 5. Was it 5 or 4? He knows. He knows. He pays attention. Oh, yeah, he does. 
And the crazy shit is, like, when he does this to everyone else, right? In, like, the future episodes, oh my god. <laughs> this is what I mean. He's a god. Wow, this shit is He's a so god. fucking broken. <laughs> they always have him naked here, though. We actually saw when he saw my ass in the season finale. He literally just has repair magic. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Oh, the coolest fucking pose. He does all these flips, regrowth. Look at this landing. It's so cool. And then do it. End him. EMP! What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Wait, what the fuck did he just do? He, he, did Pooh just make a shockwave? Bro just like went Anna's Voldy Goat. Yeah. Oh my so god. So fucking cool. So elegant. Well, that also took a toll on him, though, huh? Yeah. Holy the regrowth, I think, took a toll on him. Oh, probably the fucking... Oh, yeah, that's just probably gonna... Best reaction coming right now. Not from me, not from Neil, but school Prez. Look at Prez's reaction here. I've never seen her ever lose her composure or cool like this ever. Fuck Look at this shit. Drums to the max. She just starts fucking freaking out. <laughs> oh. Prez is like, what, what, what just happened? And Jimun just like, hmm, uh, he, he must, uh, it appears that uh, he snapped his finger and amplified the snap. No shit, Jimunji! Oh, damn. I would that's concur. That's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> no shit, that's what happened. But how? <laughs> Pretty much, Prez is like what everyone's thinking. I think they, they talk about this, right? The only other person that can do this is, I think, Yanagi. It's about... It's a CAD less magic where he has like these magic sequences memorized to the point he doesn't need to rely on a CAD to perform that magic. Is that the idea? Oh, she's getting so heated up about this man. Oh, oh yeah, the regrowth, the regrowth. That's right. How did he do that? Now Jimomo is going to say, hmm, it, it appears that uh, Tatsuya just uh, resurrected himself mid battle. Yes, that's what's what happened. No fucking shit. I wonder how they're going to explain that one though. Oh, bro, that explanation when he finds out about the amount of pain that Tatsuya needs to feel, right? Because it's all about the time constraint of something that happened. Like, the moment of when you get injured compared to when later he heals you, that determines how much more amplified the pain he has to feel to then, you know, do the regrowth. But if he doesn't have any emotions except for his love for Miyuki, can he feel pain i've never really thought about like is this different kind of emo does emotions and pain is that the same sh i don't know how that works wait I've ancient martial arts he's just like well you know he's trained with the bald ninja so that's how he did it among the ancient martial arts shiba is adapt to his ability of works out in our favor sure sure Yep, he just really strengthened his body, bro. Jimonji, oh, yeah, come on, bro. All right, we gotta, we gotta right? fuck, uh, we gotta fuck, uh, Cardinal George. Oh, that was fucking Hype. amazing. Tell me about it. I'm for sure after this episode is over, when we talk about the review, yeah. I'm going back and rewatching yeah. some of that sequence because yeah. that shit was amazing. Also, that is kind of crazy, huh? He literally did that because, like, when he got hit, right? He was in the process of like his body yes. was like just you know being flung over he was right? doing all these From different the flips and stuff he did that whole thing and repaired his shit yes in the process of it exactly when he got shot down he was like fucking tumbling in midair trying to think about something and think about the landing he landed remember the fucking one knee landing he did beyond crimson prince a while after like doing the self regrowth and then he landed on his feet yeah you know into how the most coolest fucking that's insane! Fucking fast, that is probably like in a matter of like a second or yeah. maybe less than that. Yeah. Wait, I never saw Tatsuya Shiba casting self uh, restoration spell that's clearly behind, beyond yeah, <laughs> Fujiba actually doesn't like how Kazuma kind of hypes uh, Onisama here up, right? Is this Kazuma actually? Maybe this is maybe someone different, but um, Fujiba actually actually cares about Onisama in the military, while the military pretty much just uses Onisama all 
they want because he's so competent, but they kind of treat him like a lab rat to a sense. And Fujibai, she actually cares about only some as a person rather than a military asset. <laughs> That's not Kazuma, yeah, it's not Kazuma. <laughs> yeah, okay. I... yeah, right here. Still doesn't make it right to use him as a lab rat. Is he nothing, bro? <laughs> mm. wait, 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 wait. One of only two in this country. One of two as in a strategic magician. Is that what Fujibashi is mentioning here? I didn't catch this in my first reaction, but one of two assets. One of two. That pretty much implies Japan has two strategic, strategic class magicians. Am I right? He's a valuable asset. One of the only two. Who's the other one? What? 50. 50. I think this is strategic. Class. So they actually hinted at strategic class magicians back in here too. I That just went completely over my head. A rumored 50 or so. In the, so there's there is some other. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So and Lena is considered one of them too, right? In season two. Lena is one of them from USNA. Am I right about that? Actually, it might be like... The only one ain't here, but like there's other people out there in the world yeah. too. Yeah, season two material. Yeah. Oh. See, Fujibashi cares. Oh, is that what it was? Flashcast. Flashcast. What's the flash Yanagi can do it. Pulling up activations. Memory. Memory rather than from C. Oh. Yeah. Lena is strategic, That's crazy. okay. And I guess Tatsuya, because he can read sequences and shit, right? Like, we've yeah. seen he's been able to read and, like, analyze that shit super fast. And opponent's magic sequences, too, to counter them immediately. I guess he's one of the only few people who could even fucking do that shit like that. But wait, Yanagi! Yanagi can do it! Bypass processes for building magic sequences. Never mind activation sequence. I think this is something that's going beyond my head right now. Fujibashi is basically saying, no, Onisama is doing something even more optimal. He can just fuck, he's saying like, fuck the activation sequences. We'll just bypass the entire process of building the magic sequences itself because these are images in his head. This extreme photographic memory, he just... Build. So I don't really understand like the difference of an like, activation sequence or magic sequence, but I can kind of understand how OP this is. Oh my god. Yanagi. Mm. Get Barely hyped. equal to him, by the way. Yeah, you're about to get fucked, George. Get fucked. I told you, bro. Oh. Oh boy. Here we go. Time to bully George, man. Mikiko, get in there. Damn, he's hurt though. Oh, okay, oh. I like that. See, he's about to do something really cool, right? Mikiko bites his lip, I think, and he's like, he does like he has a tuny moment here, right? Look, look, look. He's gonna push himself. Yeah. Okay, I respect it. Oh, oh, it might be too much though. No, believe in Neil. Yes. So cool. Okay. <laughs> tuny moments. He actually used the CAD this time around. Normally and again, I don't really know what the fuck is happening around when he ever uses spirit magic. It seems to be just able to do anything, but whatever. It's just a bunch of plants come from underneath, He's right? He's just been doing it by himself, right? Oh my god! And then from nah, above... that might be a trap, though. Something tells me yeah. it's a trap. Yeah, you know it. Oh! Yeet him! Okay! Okay. Uh, fuck yep, you, George. Fuck one. you, Holy George. Holy shit. Fuck you and your haircut, this George. This just Tatsuya, bro. Everybody's pulling their weight. And that's the thing. And I keep getting, like, baffled whenever other characters, like, um, like even Morisaki was kind of cool when they terrorist attack, but, like, Hanzo, Kiriyata, everyone else, they can all carry their own weight. It's just, it's that fucking Goju effect. It's a Jujutsu Kaisen Goju effect where you get compared to a godlike being like Onisama, Tatsuya, Suddenly, everyone else seems so mid. They, they're just all, they're just bland NPCs. But no, they all hold their own. And Leo and Mikiko, they were personally handpicked by only someone to participate in this. So there's a lot of respect that goes on to them. Nah, Leo's got you under control. Right, mm -hmm. Leo? Leo? No. Leo. Come on. He knows. Neil knows. The hero arrives late. There he is. That was Leo, right? Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. And you're yep. Dude, oh, you're gone. Something you're gone. about getting hit by that. Like Mikiko just pretty much like 
threw like a thunder strike onto Cardinal George, but I don't really feel the impact of a thunder strike. But when I see Leo just fucking ripping down the metallic object, just hits him, just clobbers him, it just feels like there's like more impact there. We didn't even win by getting the monolith. We won by just beating them. That's it. That's even double off a of victory. That solidifies it. Yeah, we won. Thanks yeah, to this course two students. That was the fucking most hype episode we've uh -huh. had this fucking uh -huh. show, or show or season, whatever the fuck. Oh, wait till he gets... Wait, Demon Wright is coming up after this, right? We el element Demon Wright scene was cool. And then the thesis competition. Bro, the way he fucking catches the bullets. Oh my god. What call it? I don't know why I said so. Aww. Yeah, only uh, no, Miyuki like it. crying. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is where Leo talks about like how much of a tank he is. You, what a hero! You live after getting hit by a motorcycle? Uh huh. Just three crabs. Right, because I thought, because like I was thinking to myself, what, where the fuck is Leo? Why is Leo not participating in the event? Like, why is only Mikiko fighting? But actually, Leo was. Leo took some hits. He fucking straight up tanked it, right? And then he's it's about to get it now. He just straight up tanked it, and that's why he was late. <laughs> Air bullets right now. No, he wasn't. Nah, he just raw dogged it. Straight up raw dogged it. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, he raw dogged it. That's why he didn't show up for a long time. Oh my god. Yep. It's Chuni moment, he bit the lip. He bit this lip, right? He can't hear you. He seems to be fine. No, he, he didn't hear the entire thing. Oh, is his ears fucked up? So Damn. That sounds painful. Pretty much. And the absurd moment makes them all start laughing like a team soon. Even now he's flexing! Even in this moment where we're just about to celebrate victory, right now I'm only managing by reading your lips. Dude is just constantly flexing! <laughs> Insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, bro. He's the only normal one in here, bro. <laughs> nah, they're acting like all monsters. And Miyuki. Oh, Onisama, you're so cool. Damn. Best episode. One of the best episodes. Oh. Okay, now, I'm not gonna lie. First of all, before we even talk about yes. it, I need to see that fucking shit yes. again. Hold talk on. Talk to me, Where Neil. Was it? was it like... This shit, the way he... Uh, 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 just bro mm -hmm. started. Pass it pop, out, pop, bro. Pop. Flipping the and flips. everything. And then where was the other part? When he did the little slow-mo gun switch and shit. Oh, like that right there. The most oh unnecessary my flip. God, that is so nice. Upside down shot. But then, and then I want to see the Prince fucks up. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at that, right? <laughs> look at his body when he gets shot up. He's completely upside down and he's getting flung over right from that's right and the entire sequence from here on out is him regrowth into sticking the fucking landing after getting hit by this explosion that's actually fucking insane the explosion mid doing that yeah mid oh oh never mind he did bounce a few times okay but even then right mid air bro repaired himself came back and landed stick the landing this landing right here and then this right here oh, oh. my God, that is the sauciest type of attack I've seen in an anime. It's kind of saucy. It's 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 a, it's it's a little saucy, right? There might, there might be a little bit of a glaze going on, but I still love it. It's so cool. It's one of the coolest things. He fucking does the most ridiculous self restoration midair, sticks landing in the coolest way possible, turns around, does the most suave little flick to end the fight. It's one of the most coolest, most elegant way. Even Demon Wright, it's very elegant, right? Everything about Onisama's attacks are just very elegant. Mid period, just. Yeah.
And I want to give credit to Crimson Prince because he was too shocked to react. You're absolutely right, right? Because he's under the pr pr assumption that he just killed Onisa. He's like, oh shit, I just fucked up. What did I just do? He's in a state of panic. He's not thinking about how to counter Onisama's you know, attack here. No, no, no. That's the last thing he's thinking. He's, he's probably thinking to himself, how the fuck are you still alive right now? <laughs> that's, that's so cool. Even the, even the, even the little, the, look, look, the little line that happens. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Insane. Okay. You know the Patriarch has been limp for the longest time. He has to take Viagra, but when he sees Onisama doing shit like this, he's hard as a fucking rock. Okay. Okay, okay, I will say, uh huh. This episode was by far. Whoa, that was pretty cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We'll say, maybe I should get a transition scene like this. This ep Okay, that's pretty fucking cool. What? Episode was by far the best episode this show has had so far. Had so far, and I don't know so how far. they're gonna top that. But I bullet stop, shooting through the wall, material bursto, divine right. Divine, sorry, demon right, divine left, not on me, everyone else. There's so much more he's going to get popped off about. Again, we do have what, like, uh, I think two seasons and uh, one movie or something like that, right? And an OVA. Uh, so we, we got two time. Maybe, maybe they can talk, top it off. But yep. I, was, I was not expecting that. And that shit was, oh my, okay, it was, it was nice. It was that nice. shit was peak. Uh, but yeah, overall, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, though, again, it seems like the old man probably caught it, right? Like, I... Yeah, the military guy caught it, and of course the patriarch caught it. What does this really mean if the patriarch understands what Onisama is able to do? And you know how they even had a meeting about how the Yotsuba clan is getting too strong? We need to actually bring like, Onisama in somehow. They were having like, a meeting, a strategic meeting about the political influence of the Ten Families as well as the Yotsuba, how they're like stronger than the Ten Clans, and how to use Onisama in this instance. And I think that kind of ties into, you know, being like an arranged marriage with Saigusa, right? To become, to make him a Ten Clans. No, that's a little bit different because he was flexing too much even though he's not a Ten Clans. You know, 99% of the other people, right? And well, 99.9% .9 of the other people, right? Like the normal people and shit, they just thought it was a shockwave or something, right? He's just empty by the, the spell and that other and shit. And they, you know, probably thought it was just, you know, some sort of a, like a fortifying resistance, you know, or some shit. That's why, you know, he was safe and shit. But I feel like the old man definitely for sure mm -hmm. caught it. So mm -hmm. I, I want to know, like, you know, what he's going to do about it and stuff. If, you know, if even he's going to do anything. He's gonna straight up recruit Oni Summit, bro. He is so horny for that ass. At all, or maybe he's just gonna be like, oh, you know, it's nice to see a promising individual in our country again, you know, that type of shit or something. Uh, but they did say that there's other people like him. There's yes. a, one other person. Now, who's the other strategic class magician? Is it Yanagi or has it been introduced yet? Don't spoil me about that. But they said two in Japan, 50 all across the world. We know Lina's not from Japan. Who's the other strategic class magician in Japan? Is it Yanagi or someone completely different? Who's also kind of like, can't be one of the Yotsubas. Could you imagine if it's fucking Mia? Like the Yotsuba ants right now? Uh, Tatsuya, right? In this country, at the very least, the, the way they made it seem like. Because right after, they, they also said, and then there's a, about 50 or so across the whole world. Yeah. That just means that the one, somebody, one person is in this country. And if that's the case, I wonder who it is or, or if that's actually the old man that's sitting up there or some shit. Because they did say the old man. The old man is a strategic... It's only old man and Onisama? <laughs> I mean, I could believe it. He is like the number one strongest, right? And he's shit. right. So we'll have to see. But Well, I don't know if he's the number one strongest. I thought just like in terms of the political influence he has and the diplomacy, I thought he's rank one there, but I, I don't really know. Is the grandpa really the strongest magician? Maybe. Overall, again, I'm excited to see where this goes. And this episode was fucking amazing. Uh, and Agreed. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. That's the video. Please go sub to Neil Desai and like his video if you did. This is a channel that I have tremendous respect for because his channel is something that I studied really hard. The entire reason my channel is still alive and is able to grow little by little is because I copied his entire strategy. I saw that he didn't give a fuck about weekly series. I saw that he's focused on his community poll series. And with the success he had, I copied the strategy and it's working great for me. This is someone I have tremendous respect for. His reactions are great. The way he does a lot of commentary really complements how I can do reactions too on top of it. Hopefully this is like a different type of reaction because obviously this is pretty shameless. I'm just leeching. I'm straight up just watching this guy watch the Crimson Prince episode. But I thought to myself, how can I innovate and try to make different type of content while sticking to the reaction, which is something you guys are here for. So if this is a new type of content you guys enjoy, please let me know in the comments below. By the way, we do this reactions live on stream, 7 a.m. PST on YouTube. Hope to see you there.